In my second activity, I'm going to show you how to create a math walk in your backyard or neighborhood using the guidelines of the Walk STEM initiative. While we're all practicing social distancing, walking is one of the few opportunities families have to get out of the house together. The only supplies you'll need for this activity are your walking shoes. Okay, so what you want to do is go outside and try to see the world through a mathematical lens. Try to see math in the world all around you. We're going to do this out in my backyard today. Okay, so I'm here in my backyard and there's a lot of things we could talk about. From the trees, to the plants, to the patio, to the play equipment. A math walk can have multiple different stops, each where you record yourself talking about something different. For my stop today, I wanna to talk about the fence that's behind me. So the first step in creating a stop on your very own math walk is to notice. What are some things I notice about my fence? Well, I notice that it is made up of vertical wooden beams that have the same width and height. I also notice that there are these metal poles that stake the fence to the ground. The next step in creating a stop is to question which means to think about what I wonder based on my observations about my fence. So I wonder why the metal poles are spaced the way they are. And I wonder how many of the vertical wooden beams actually make up my entire fence that goes around my backyard. It seems like there are a lot. The third step in creating your very own walk stop is to curate, to choose one question to explore in more depth. I'm going to ask the question, how can I determine how many vertical wooden beams are in my entire fence without counting them one by one? So I counted one by one to determine how many vertical wooden beams there were in one section of my fence, where one section is the distance between one metal pole and the next metal pole. I determined that there are around 20 beams in each section. I then counted how many different sections there were all around my yard in my fence, and I saw there are around 23 sections. So think about how I could figure out how many total wooden beams there are in my yard. One strategy I could use if I don't want to count them all one by one would be to multiply 23 times 20. So you might be tempted to break out your calculator right now and try it there. But part of the fun of math walks is doing informal mental mathematics when all we need is a good estimate. So 20 is a really nice number to multiply by because it has a zero in the ones place. This means that I can break 23, my other number, up into its two place values, two tens and three ones. And I can multiply 20 times 20, which is 400, and three times 20, which is 60. When I add those two together, I get 460, which is my estimate for how many wooden beams are in the fence all around my yard. So now I've created my very first walk stop on my math walk in my backyard. 